Welcome back to Tech, Tesla, and Trends. Tonight, I'm discussing the bizarre Tesla crash or driving off of a cliff in California off of the coast there at the Devil's Slide, I think it's called. The whole incident is, is mind-boggling. The authorities think that the driver, likely the dad in this situation, drove his family off of a 250-foot cliff. I, I, I'm, my mind is blown. I guess an attempted murder, suicide pact, whatever it may be, I don't know. But that is insane. But the more amazing detail here is everyone survived. A 250-foot plunge over a cliff. The car is in shambles. You look at it, it is totally rolled end over end. I've, I've been in an accident like that. Not over a cliff, but rolled the vehicle five times. Barrel rolled, end over end. It's a real thing. It's still insane to drop over a 250-foot cliff. Roll and, and, and several other things on its way down to that narrow neck of land and how they didn't land in the water. You know, there's a divine hand right there. That car is destroyed, and yet the occupants are able to survive. If that does not independently and in real-world situations prove Teslas are the safest cars on the road, I don't know what's going to make that abundantly clear to the haters out there. The... Uh, you know, there there are people that are willing to run political campaigns to try and protect their software companies. You know, they know who they are. They're questionable individuals in that regard. When you are going to call into question a company that's number one focus is safety. Number one, there are no other alternatives when it comes to design. No aesthetics, no uh, range concerns, none of this. The number one concern at the very foundation of this design pyramid for Tesla is safety. Number one, that's why every single one of their cars has received the NHTSA five-star rating. You know, it's the safest in all five of their categories. But part of the reason for that is Tesla goes above and beyond on safety. They go way beyond what the standard crash tests are. When it comes down to Tesla and their crash tests, they are doing independently different types of tests because they've learned from the data they collect from real-world driving, what kinds of accidents actually happen. See, if you know what's happening in the real world, this is another one of those things. Their crash test data, they are able to verify and confirm their design process based on the data that they're acquiring from the real world, from the field, from cars that have accidents or crashes. In fact, I will bet that this particular crash is going to be part of their overall design review. They're going to look at how this car fared, and they'll beef up even more. Why? Because safety is their number one concern. That family able to be medevaced and then released from the hospital, for the kids at least, uh, already. You know, hopefully mom and dad survive. I, I don't know that the family's going to survive if this was truly a, a suicide pact of some sort or, or an attempted murder. Uh, and suicide. I, I just, I, I pray that the data on this proves something totally different. I really do. From my perspective as a dad, wanting to keep my family as safe as possible, this is the most unthinkable of actions when you're trying to keep your family safe. I, I just, I cannot fathom this particular one. I, I pray that the the story the that is currently coming out is radically mis represented and that there is a, another explanation here and that it wasn't intentional. I really pray that that is the case for this family because it's a phenomenal story in and of itself. They survive. Something that as the uh, San Mateo County fire chief was saying, they come out there all the time to that devil's slide and they don't rescue people. They're recovering bodies and vehicles. They were rescuing somebody, not just one, but four. And you could hear the emotion in their voice. It, it changed the, the narrative for, for the rescuer. They felt like they had a, an actual chance to do something amazing and good in, in their day. So I pray that this family is uh, able to recover and that it isn't as, as bad as you know the, the, the media is reporting right now. It would be truly not out of character for misrepresentations or for the police to get some aspect of it wrong. I hope that I'm wrong, or I hope that they're wrong, I should say. Uh, and and if they're not, then the reality of it is, is pick the wrong car to try and commit suicide in, because 
it is truly the safest vehicle on on on, on the planet when it comes to uh, putting your family in. And that's why those of us that are seeking to protect our families are doing everything we can to be able to afford a, a Tesla to put our families in. It is something that we believe in. We do, we've, we've done the, the research and we know the best place for your family on the road is inside a Tesla. Not only is there, uh, you know, the, the safety protocols that are involved for the autopilot and FSD, if you're able to afford that as well, truly, there is no safer software out there. And the only reason people are picking apart or even trying to damage FSD in any way, shape, or form is their jealousy over the quality of the product. Who else reports every single accident? Most of the other manufacturers don't even know. Tesla, on the other hand, has all the details about every single crash, every single incident that occurs with their vehicles because they are a data collection company. And at the core of what FSD is, it is AI research. They are building how artificial intelligence will interact with the world around it. This is important too. All in all, Tesla is at the forefront of being the safest manufacturing company for vehicles on the road ever. And I'm sure that as crash test data comes out for the semi, whenever it is involved in the inevitable, because let's face it, people brake check semis all the time. Only this time, those semis will have multiple cameras to catch those crazy idiots that are always trying to cause semis trouble. You've seen the videos. It's insane. Safety is a big detail, and it is at the foundation and core of what Tesla is. As a design company, it it is evident in this story of the family that plunged over the, the cliff in their Tesla. Absolutely evident. Just amazed that they survived. Not surprised, though. Amazed, though, in, in that the story is fantastical. And, and how well the, the Model S survived is truly, you know, it's, it's part of their design process. That low weight distribution, the overall solidness of the side impact capabilities, and then its overall design not to land on its roof. This makes that car ideal for surviving accidents, crashes. In fact, I, I've watched many Tesla cam crashes and almost every one of them, people are walking away from. The reality of it is that Teslas are the safest vehicles on the road. The data absolutely supports this. If you don't believe me, go look at the, yeah, the National Transportation Highway Safety Board. Um, they, they've got the data. Teslas are the safest vehicles on the road. This isn't my opinion. It is an actual government fact. Surprisingly, in this case, the government actually acknowledges facts. Shocking. But that's another conversation. Truth and reality. Oh, well. That could go so many places. In this case, we'll leave it at Tesla makes the safest cars on the road. End of discussion. I'd love to hear your comments. I know there's going to be a lot of speculation on this particular one in this particular case and, and there'll be developments that come out over the next couple of days and I'm sure that we'll all be following this very closely in the, in the uh, Tesla community. Anyways, have a good night. I look forward to hearing your comments in below and we'll go from there.